are starting building online business at certain level, you hit that position where it stops being about what to do and it starts to be about how to do it. Have you ever heard that? I believe men hear it more from women than <laughs> opposite way about that. Honey, it's not about what you said, but how you said it. You know that line, right? And it's the same thing when you are building online business. It stops being about really what steps, what points you are doing, but about how you do them, how you say those things, those little tweaks that change the result. My name is Lenka Katzlova and I am helping online marketers, business owners, entrepreneurs to build and leverage their online businesses through social media and online communication. I also help them to build a brand and become influencers in their niche, in your niche, so you can do what you love and live your dream lifestyle. How to invite people, today's topic, usually it's, especially network marketing, it's about who you know, right? But when you're starting, it's not about who you know, but how you talk to those people. Because if you are communicating in the wrong way, it doesn't matter who you know, those people will not be interested anyway in your products, in your coaching, in your business opportunity, whatever you are trying to offer them, they will not be interested because you didn't follow the right steps, right formula. You didn't communicate it in a right way. What is important when talking to people is you need to believe in yourself and you need to believe in whatever you are offering. You need to have that confidence first, what in what you are offering that it's the best thing you can do for them so when you invite them they actually feel the excitement and they love whatever you are giving to them because they've told you what they need and you have that solution and second you need to believe that it works that when they join your business opportunity they will succeed you can help them to succeed and I've experienced it recently myself and actually got me surprised <laughs> after that period of time that I am doing this. That person told me they are or he is quitting because when he brings people in and he had the confidence to bring people in, invite them and people join him. But there was a second part of that. He didn't believe he could help them to get what he's done. And it got me surprised because when you have the system, it duplicates your team is having results. Is it an individual thing or is it something that I missed? So it got me thinking and that's why I came up with this topic. Because when you don't believe that you can help them. That was a bicycle. <laughs> that you can help them and that whatever you give them, you, your coaching, your, your system, your marketing, and they tell you, I don't want to leave them without results. I don't want them to suffer. They have that fear. Their people will be left with no help and no results. That actually got me thinking like, one mistake I've made with this person that he has this feeling. What did I not teach him that he was left with this fear? What did I do wrong? What did I miss? And I wanted to learn from this experience. So my advice to you and maybe to your team, to your people is learn to communicate and I always always emphasis on the communication because that is a basic skill that you will need to learn 
It doesn't matter what you do, who you know, as long as you don't communicate in a right way, it will not work. So what you need to do in order to invite people to your offer, to your product, to your service, you need to first start, and you all know that, a relationship. And the way to do that is just simple hi, simple greeting, and opening line that will help the people to start a conversation. And re it really has to be a conversation. And that conversation has to lead to a place where that person will trust you and will open up. You want to know what they want, what they don't want, what they need, what are their desires, fears. You need to get to know that person because that person, when they open up, they will tell you all the answers you need. They will tell you what they are looking for, if you can help them. And before even thinking about prospecting that person, you need to actually qualify that person if they are right person to prospect or that you are just going to keep building up that relationship for future when they will be open to whatever you are doing and offering. So when you are talking to this person and asking the right questions, which is the key, and it can be anything that will help you to get to know that person. If you are not building a business and you are really on a party or barbecue, it's summer, and you are getting to know someone that you've just met without thinking about prospecting them, <laughs> what will you ask? We will ask about family, about their job, Whatever they will tell you, get really interested. Why did you choose that? Did you study for it? How long? Did it go well? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Why not? What else would you like to do? Whatever, just get to know that person and really listen and ask questions based on what people tell you. Listen to them, no distractions, just focus on what that person is telling you. Be friendly, communicate really easily, as a normal person, be honest, speak truth. And when you see a gap, when you really see that the person is telling you, you know, I really don't like my job. And, you know, I'm just had baby. I want to stay at home. I wish I could. And you tell them, you know, I am at home. I am a mom staying at home, raising up my kids, thinking about third mom, I have to right now. <laughs> well, I have, a way how I do it and I can show you what I do would you be open to see it? it's as easy as that and I love an example with restaurant you know when you imagine yourself as a waitress and that person's telling you you know I would like a coffee and you know just sit after lunch you know I would like a coffee and you as a waitress you can just ask well would you like a dessert with it you know, I know you are having one, you know, I know you want to quit your job, you don't like it. Well, I have an online business when you want to stay home with your kids as well, which you want to see. Don't get attached to the result. No attachment. You are just an offering away and you've prospected them. You've qualified them to prospecting first. You know they are looking for this. Do they want this or not? You are just inviting them to see that's all. So my advice to you is never skip that greeting and qualifying phase before you start prospecting any person because that those people will tell you they are open in advance and all you have to do afterwards is really invite them based on what they've told you they are looking for. And they're not going to say no because they've told you they just want it. You know, I have to find a way how to make money fast now. I have some investments, but I need extra money. They're probably not going to quit their job. They don't want to. They love their job, but they're looking for some extra money. Well, do you have a way? Easy as that. Hopefully this was helpful. If you found value in this, I want you to click on the like button below and please subscribe.